What's going on YouTube? Today, we're checking out a Circle D Converter. All right guys, so while we have our engine tore apart, we're going to go ahead and open up our Circle D bolt together converter. I have never done this. I talked to Pete though. He said, yeah, you can go ahead and open it up. Just, you know, see how it's looking inside. See if anything looks bad. But we're going to crack these all open, open this up, and show you guys what's inside this Circle D converter. <music> Definitely see a little bit of material down inside. All right, uh, so I just put the pump back. Um, so we're gonna take this apart. So this is our needle bearing. And so this part goes down, the beveled part goes up. our stator and that has needle bearings and a spacer put the spacer back on again one rotation gotta make sure we put this back the same way we got it out So this does not have a mechanical diode or a sprag. It is spragless, so this is a solid piece here. And here's our main pump, I believe that's what this is called. I'm not a torque converter, guys. I've watched a couple of videos and that's pretty much it. And I'm really just looking for stuff that looks concerning to me. Yeah, I'm making sure I'm putting everything back in order. So there's a little bit of material in here, I can see. So we're gonna try to get rid of that. Put 
everything back the way it came out. All right, this guy needs dumped. Hopefully I don't royally screw this up. pretty good and as you can see there is some material looks like this guy goes here and there's also a spacer so those guys sit like that There's definitely a little bit of material you can see up there in the corner. A uh, little bit of fine shavings. Could be from tranny. Um, that's why we're getting our tranny looked at as well. So, uh, we'll clean this guy up and we'll be back. Okay, I cleaned everything up. Uh, looks really good. I went ahead and cleaned our spacer in the back and our bearing. So... Put that, I blew them out with the compressed air and putting everything together dry. Everything looks good in here, as far as I can tell. Um, I'm gonna send these videos to Pete so he can check them out. But uh, I mean, everything looks good. Looks like we might have had something kind of chew a little bit. It's not, it's nothing bad. You can see a couple of marks around, but it didn't fold anything over. But everything else looks really good. So I'm gonna go blow this with compressed air and get it cleaned up. All right, everything's cleaned up. We got our, um, our three spacer on there, so our back spacer, our needle bearing goes in the back. And that is where our pump slides into. So we clean this up really good. Everything looks good. There's no like crazy heat marks. Everything looks good inside. It's nothing nuts. Uh, no broken welds, no folded over fins. It all looks good. So we will drop this in. There we go. Next up is going to be putting our stator in. So it looks like we got a spacer that goes on. And then we got another needle bearing. All right, so I'll bring you in a quicker look. So the only thing that I found a little concerning is in there you can see that backs have a little flip tab. Well, this once once the spacers all go in there, when this guy goes in here in this groove like this, so there's a groove, there's a machine groove. It does not look like it was worn in, but uh, this has some play, and it looks like it kind of kind of made those little marks, or unless they were just left over from the machining, I'm not really sure. So I'm sending the video off to Pete from Circle D so he can look at that in the video and tell me if it's totally normal and it's fine. Um, I don't know if he want me to deburr those or just leave them. I don't know, but everything else looks really, really good. Um, there's absolutely no issues. Uh, like I said, the only thing I saw was a couple of these fins had maybe some signs of a little bit of material kind of beaten off of them. I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, nothing's like bent. They all look the same. And all the outside fins look good. And I just cleaned up the pump and uh, all these fins. You can see the same little material that hit these um, also hit these up here. 
So definitely a little chunk of something got in probably from the transmission and that's why I'm having the transmission gone through. But it uh, doesn't look anything serious. Like no like big chunks fell out. Honestly, the only thing that was coming out was just on this fine little silver material. So um, transmission is going to get looked over and cleaned. So maybe maybe Tommy will find something in the tranny that needs redone. All right, guys. So I just talked to Pete, which is very impressive. I mean, Circle D is impressive. Tony, uh, I'm so glad I'm with Circle D. There they are. Uh, customer service, you cannot beat. Um, Pete is the man, let me tell you. Anyways, big reason I got the bolt together was so that I could do this, that I could unbolt it, look at it, look for damage, look for wear, um, rebuild it if I have to, change the stator if I have to. But um, it was all well worth it because I did find that this little guy was wearing and talked to Pete and apparently um, that was a problem. They had an aluminum, that's an aluminum cap and they were having issues with it wearing like that. So he is sending me out a new version of the cap. It's steel, so it's not gonna wear like that. And he's also sending me out some new bearings and seals. So um, we're gonna, Put this guy together once I get all the new stuff and I'll show you guys how to put the new cap on the stator. All right guys well the old girl is gonna retire. That's a heck of a hole. Heck of a hole. Um, I went ahead and stripped the rest of the stuff off. Still got stuff falling out of it. Stripped the rest out um, but here's the last bit I'm gonna go ahead and junk this block and beat it up didn't it sheesh just axed right through the side so saying our goodbyes and the new block will be in in a couple of weeks that's gonna do it for today guys um got a converter waiting for pete to send me those new pieces once we get those in uh we'll show you how that all goes back together uh, if you guys have not ordered shirts or if you want a t-shirt let me know we got some shirts um we always take them to the races with us but of course not racing here because i don't got a motor but as soon as i'm back racing we'll have them with us but i appreciate the support guys comment like and subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video see you.